Let's go now to Orlando, HP Fieldhouse, to join our guy, Ian Eagle. Ian, it is a new normal. Appreciate you coming on with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's uh, a little... I must say, it's lonely, but it's great to see other humans, Michael and Frank. <laughs> well, the, well the, the NBA's had to put together this restart, keeping in mind health and safety, keeping that first and foremost entertainment yep. atmosphere, and then creating this platform for players to speak out about social issues. How would you assess the job the league has done so far? Uh, incredible. Opening night games were validation in many ways that it looked like the NBA it sounded like the NBA. It felt like the NBA, of course, with no fans. That's a big part of the equation. The league knows how to put on events. This is what they do, and they're probably the best at doing it. As far as uh, very safe, uh, the league has been incredibly vigilant about their rules and their regulations. Uh, I'm in a different tier than the players, so I will not see a player. I will not see a coach. I will not see a staff member, uh, but it's all part of what they're doing to make sure that everybody remains healthy and that they crown a champion at the end of this run in October. I and the players, they're playing without fans. What about for you as a broadcaster? What is it like calling games without fans in the building? Yeah, Frank, the way that, that I viewed it, I, I do feel as if I had some for this uh, i've done remote games in my career some nba finals for the world feed from a studio FIBA generate energy when you realize you're not going to get it you're not going to get the normal you would get from a crowd i also did many years of play-by-play -play on a video game for sony playstation video game called nba playgrounds i'm getting uh, a number of uh, little plugs in as well this is <laughs> for me in my career so that was another part of uh, the broadcasting world that was new to me to again bring juice even though it was a nondescript sterile situation heard frank i think you can relate to this a bit i called nets games in the mid 90s <laughs> there be careful be careful <laughs>